Hi everyone, I'm Helly. I'm gonna make this really easy for you. I'm gonna lay out your first full face workout routine number one, all right? But before I do that, I wanna explain the various muscle groups. We have our head, our scalp area, foreheads, eyes, cheeks, nose, yes, our nose has muscles as well, mouth, jaw, neck, front and back. Now, in this full face workout routine number one, I'm gonna give you four exercises. We don't have to do all of them at one time. In fact, you don't wanna do that. Let's just concentrate on four as we begin our journey. We're gonna focus on our foreheads, eyes, upper cheeks, mouth, especially the marionette lines, these creases right here, which I hate, um, and that's enough. Now, we're gonna do this for six weeks. The first two weeks, we're gonna do 50, so our muscles get used to and introduced to this next this new way of working out and exercising. Then the um, third and fourth week, we're gonna do 100. The fifth and last week, six weeks, we're gonna do 150. Now, if that is too much for you, you can divide it into three weeks, 50, and then the last three weeks, 150. I'm sorry, 100. Now, if you feel like, oh, I'm still getting used to this, you can stretch it out to eight weeks and do four weeks, you know, 50, and the last four weeks, 100. But after that, you have to switch out the routine. It's very important that your muscles don't get stuck doing the same uh, movement. You want to teach it a new trick, a new exercise, so that it'll work the eyes, but in a different way. And this is how you get the best benefits. And Always on your, let's say your first two weeks, we're doing 50. On the last 50, you have to hold it for 20 seconds for the, the lactic burn. What this is, is it stresses out the muscle so that when you stop and it's resting, it allows it to build and grow and become stronger. This is crucial. You have to stress out the muscle and then allow it to rest. All right. Now, before I do any of my exercises, I always make sure I have a clean, I have clean hands and a clean face because I don't want to transmit any bacteria or germs onto my face and cause it to break out. So you don't want to do that. Now I'm going to tell you in some of my videos, I actually do wear makeup because I'm on tape and girl, there are some days that I need to wear makeup. So, but for you, make sure you have a clean, clean hands and clean face. And the best time to do it for me is actually in the mornings when you know I have nothing on and I, I could work out my face and the household is quiet. Or I like to do it right before I go to bed when I just wash my face and my hands and I could do my exercises. Make sure you slightly moisturize your face and your hands so that you're not pulling or tugging and unnecessarily making smaller micro um, wrinkles and creases you don't want to do that okay so make sure it's slightly moisturized but not too much where your hands and your fingers are slipping because you need to use those for resistance got it now the exercises that i picked for you in this first routine we're only going to do four don't do like you know 10 different muscle groups you don't want to overwork your muscles on your face it will have the reverse effect so i'm only going to pick four for you and it's going to be your forehead eyes upper cheeks and mouth area especially concentrate on concentrating on the marionette line because that is one of my problem areas and i hate it so these are four very easy exercises i posted it on my channel and they'll break down the exercises for you. And so it'll say forehead introduction, instruction, and then it'll say forehead 50 reps. Because if you want me to do the exercises with you, I will do them with you because sometimes it's a lot easier. Somebody's actually doing the counting so that you can focus on that muscle group. Now, when you're working out your forehead, it is very important to only focus in on that area. Don't think about your shopping list, okay? Think only about that area to activate the muscle. And also when you're doing your exercise, you really wanna think up and lift up and not do your exercises where everything's pulling down. Your muscles will know the difference. And posture is very important. You wanna sit up, shoulders back, you know, make sure your, um, 
you're secure, your arms aren't dangling all over the place, so it provides the necessary resistance that is required in the exercises. Now you got this. I totally believe in you. You can do this, and I'll do it with you.